Okay, so thank you very much. And actually, I would like to thank organizers for the opportunity to present this work on today's conference. Although it should have been a year earlier, so this work matured a little bit. So let, as a start, I, I will basically going with some uh, easy and well-known things like the spaces that we are working with and later moving on something that's less familiar to everybody like complex projected T-designs to introduce it. Then I will move to mixed states to design. I will define them, show the method of obtaining them and discuss several examples. And later move on to something that wasn't really mentioned in the title, which is designs in the classical probability simplex. And then I will move on to summarize. So very slowly, just to be easy on this last talk of today's session, uh, we are working uh, generally with uh, normalized uh, complex uh, vectors and the in dimensional in the dimension of N. And these are our states and basically any of any such state can be decomposed into the Schmidt uh, form. That is, uh, we introduce the Schmidt uh, uh, coefficients and sum over su certain local states. And this Schmidt coefficients can be seen as a certain measure of entanglement of the pure state. However, in order to um, consider what is going on with uh, Alice or Bob, we need to shift our view to the density matrices, which is also a very well-known topic to our community. In order to see uh, the state themselves, we of course need to consider the partial tracing. So j just to uh, reiterate what is well-known, the space of mixed states is composed by the semi-definite positive matrices of tra of single trace. And those that are squared to themselves can be seen as pure state. And uh, in what follows, uh, we will use uh, purity as a measure of entanglement. That is the trace of the squared reduction. Okay, now we are getting to something that is not really familiar to everybody, which is the complex projective T designs. We say that a set of uh, M states in the space of states of dimension n is called a complex projective t design if uh, the average over the states uh, of a certain polynomial of the grid t is uh, reproducing the average over the full space with respect to the flat har measure so basically these kind of uh, settings are used uh, in several different uh, fields like quantum state tomography quantum fingerprinting or quantum cryptography, just to name several. And the simplest examples include mutually unbiased bases, which Mate already uh, mentioned, and symmetric informationally complete uh, POVMs, or rather the states that they proceed from. So just to exemp exemplify it uh, more clearly, the MUBs were already mentioned. So given two uh, orthogonal bases, EI and FJ, they are said to be uh, unbiased on space of n dimension if they're, if their inner product, oh, sorry, this should have been an inner product, my mistake. So there will be another one in a second, is uh, equal over all the states. And in principle, for n dimensional space, there is a maximum of n, of n plus one such uh, mutually unbiased bases. Similarly, stick POVMs here also, excuse me for the outer product instead of inner one, SIG POVMs are defined as uh, sets of n squared states, which have constant overlaps between themselves. So just to stick the attention to us, we, and this uh, view we'll be using uh, quite often uh, during this talk, the MUBs in the block ball are represented as the inscribed octahedron, so that uh, every two uh, opposite uh, vertices are forming a single basis, whereas the SIG POVM is given by a, by a regular tetrahedron, which is also inscribed in the block sphere. Now, what, what we can define a, a very similar notion is so-called mixed states T design. So we are shifting all the um, notions that we have defined earlier for projective spaces to the space of the mixed states. So a set of M density matrices is called uh, a mixed state T design. If for a given uh, 
polynomial GT of degree T and the entries, it is the average over the set reproduces the average over the full space over the flat Herbert Schmidt measure in this case. Now we, that for a set to be such a, a um, design, we require a very specific uh, inequality to be satisfied. That is for any um, such a set, the inequality described below, but uh, needs to be saturated. Here, uh, specifically, the omega nt is uh, the average of uh, t copies over the full space of the density matrices of uh, dim dimension n. And gamma nt is the uh, purity of the aforementioned uh, state. In particular, this is not really the most handy uh, way of obtaining such designs. Another way is to take arbitrary complex projective T design in, in dimension N squared, and by partial tracing, we will obtain a T prime design in the, in the space of mixed states of dimension N. In particular, the T prime may be higher than the original T of the projective design. Thus, a simple observation, any positive operative value, value to measurement is actually a mixed state one design. So moving on, on to several simple uh, examples. The two qubit MUBs consist of uh, five bases satisfying uh, the following relation, as uh, already has been mentioned. And the image in the single reduction party is very similar to a single party MUB. You, got, you again retrieve the full octahedron where every vertex of this object octahedron is doubly degenerated. And additionally, for two uh, bases that are maximally entangled, we are getting eightfold uh, degeneracy in the central state, which is maximally, uh, um, maximally mixed. Now, similar configuration arises from something very different. Hogar, in, in a very old paper from 1998, provided an example of complex projective three design of dimension four, which is closely related to the Gosset polytope 421, but, a, but in complex uh, version. In both uh, reductions, we can see exact uh, analogy to MUBs. The degeneration the degeneration of the points involved in this design is exactly the same at up to a um, multiplicative factor. Thus, we can see the, the property that I mentioned before, that is the T prime is raised. We are getting three design from something that was a two design original. Another uh, example that is quite relevant is a SIGPO VM uh, for dimension four, analyzed by Ju and Engler. They provided a very characteristic uh, configuration, which has a constant uh, entanglement over all states. And if we consider the reductions to Alice and Bob, we are seeing a very um, uh, regular shapes. It is for Alice, uh, we see a cube, that is the platonic uh, solid. And for Bob, it is something different yet still one can recognize uh, certain regularities. And thus, taking uh, this example, we can ask a very simple uh, question, which is uh, basically a geometric question. Can, a, can such a regularity be used in order to find the isentangled set of MUBs for dimension four? And the answer is pretty much positive. The configuration is very simple. If you take any of the five tetrahedra that uh, are visible in the image, you will get a single MU basis. And the full set as a convex hull is represented by a dodecahedron. And this particular representation, this particular solid is called uh, a five tetrahedra component. Moreover, very closely related to the way that SIGP OVMs are usually obtained, this configuration can be obtained from a single fiducial vector by acting on it on 
a tensor product of two inequivalent representations of a special linear group of dimension two over the field with, with a square root of pi. This is a very well-known solid, and basically for the, all the amateurs of paper craft, it can be actually glued from paper from, and can be easily found online. So we are not uh, taking on anything that is not well known, and we are kind of surprised to see this uh, structure pop up. Moving on to what I already mentioned about classical probability simplex, the similar structure can be uh, defined for simple probabilities. This we say that uh, endpoints uh, are a design over this uh, simplex if they reproduce the average over a selected measure. Now, this measure can be taken as a flat Lebesgue measure or Hilbert Schmidt measure, depending on uh, what you prefer. It can be ob obviously generalized uh, easily to weighted uh, T designs. And there is a a nice property about uh, projective T designs and uh, these kind of designs. Any projective T design yields a design over flat measure in, simple, in probability simplex simply by the coarse graining map. And this can be uh, pre represented by a simple projection onto the Z axis. And in this particular case, we can see a reproduction of uh, two well known uh, integration quadratures. That is the Simpsons rule one, four, and one, and the ghost legend rule with two uh, points of equal uh, weight. In general, one can also expand this easily. And uh, as long as we are keeping ourselves to the flat measure, we can go with the degree uh, arbitrarily large. This way, uh, we can obtain arbitrary degree, but any configuration will and indeed uh, prove itself to be of uh, odd degree. However, for Hilbert Schmidt uh, measure, the situation proves itself to be a little different. If we are sitting over the reals, suddenly the uh, chain is getting cut out after the n equal four. Later, for minimal uh, number of points, we are starting to get uh, complex results. This is uh, not really um, what we would like to have. I will explain this in a second. As I, as I shift to the question, because uh, all the time we are talking about dimension two, two-dimensional probability simplex, two-dimensional qubits, right? So what can we actually say from this work uh, about uh, dimension three? To be honest, not really much. First of all, just to know what are the MUBs for two Q trees, they consist in four, sorry, four separable bases and five maximally entangled bases. And this is well uh, visible within the triangle of uh, eigenvalues. These are distributed in a way to, to be equally distributed over the whole simplex. And the important uh, probability, property of this configuration is that it provides a pro uh, two design over the probability simplex uh, for three probabilities. Moreover, this property is uh, similar for arbitrary dimension. As soon as we, as we consider pro, uh, eigenvalues of a mixed state T design, because we are now talking about single reduction, we are getting uh, a T design for the probability simplex uh, with respect to the Hilbert Schmidt measure. We have also conducted a simple numerical search for two Q trees isoentangled MUBs in terms of purity. However, as you can see, this doesn't uh, really converge. What we know is that uh, for it to be isoentangled, we would require all the red points to converge onto the thin green circle, which is of uh, radius square two fifteenth, with respect with comparison to the outer circle, which is here scaled to be r equal one half. And unfortunately, the simulations up till now have not been convergent. So in summary, we first of all introduce by analogy to complex projective T designs, the concept of mixed states T designs and provide a way to obtain such constellations for mixed states. We show examples based on already known projective T designs and analyze them for regularities. 
Furthermore, we, int we introduced as entangled MUBs for two qubits. I also forgotten to mention in the summary that we moreover introduce uh, designs for probability synthesis. And there remains an open question whether are similar isentangled structures can be found for any higher dimensions, for instance, for Q3 and MUBs. And basically, this is all. <clears throat> I would like also to mention that due to the fact that this conference was shifted by a year, the work already got published in PRL. These are several uh, references that we use. Thank you very much for your attention. And actually, I would welcome any questions. Great, thank you very much. <clears throat> uh, so there are not yet any questions on Discord, so perhaps I will ask the question. So you gave uh, uh, two characterizations of those uh, uh, mixed uh, T designs. Yes, one of them yes. was with uh, this kind of, uh, let me call it nasty formula. <laughs> Uh, or maybe complicated okay. formula. And the other one was somehow more intuitive that you can just uh, take a partial trace of uh, something which is a projective uh, uh, T-design, yes? Yes, yes, you could say so. So this uh, second characterization, is it uh, if and only if? So is every, uh, is, is every mixed T-design obtained in this way? This is... Not certain, although I would argue that this uh, is not a necessary condition. It is sufficient. That is, uh, if you take a, a projective T design and trace it, then you will certainly get uh, a mixed state T design. Although the other way around, by purification, this is by no way obvious. OK. Uh, I can see one more question from Jarek. <clears throat> So there are no uh, canonical measures for simplices. How do you deal with that? Uh, mm -hmm. What happens if you change from Hilbert Schmidt says to Dures measure? Okay. I must uh, admit that we didn't investigate the Dures measure, <coughs> but uh, we, the reason for taking the flat Lebesgue measure and the Hilbert Schmidt measure is that uh, we have direct uh, um, connection between the projective designs to the Lebesgue measure over this and to, from mixed state designs to the Hilbert Schmidt measure. So basically, my answer is uh, we don't uh, really know what happens for other measures. Okay. So you also mentioned during your talk some uh, applications of the projective uh, T designs. Uh, uh, is this concept of the mixed T design uh, somehow useful in some other parts of? quantum information? Um, OK. What we know at this moment for sure is that uh, basically uh, taking this kind of uh, design, you can implement a certain uh, type of tomographical scheme. But it's suboptimal when compared to the projective T designs. Does the search for uh, applications of this kind of uh, setup is still under the question. OK, thank you.